What is up, everyone? In the studio, I'm A-Day. Today, we're going to look into the remix I did of Yellow Claw featuring Beanie Man. Bun it up. It was very fun. And uh, something uh, I don't normally write, I guess, even though it is kind of heavy. Uh, just like some elements and bounce stuff. And as well as I did go back to Massive and started using Massive in this song. I think this was the first song in a long time that I've used Massive. So, yeah, let's skip around. I drop it like a bomb. Every woman I want and I'm Yeah, uh, CPU is not handling it right now, so if you want to listen to the full song, link will be down in the description. So, yeah, uh, what I started with was obviously the drums, because I had their stems, and I just wrote drums to their stems, so I kind of had like the same flow, which happened to be these drums. Let me do something real quick. All right, so I had to take the master chain off. It's gonna sound a little different, but the writing is the writing, so let's look into it. Obviously, this was the drums I started with. All samples from our pack. I believe it is drum kit 100. So, yeah, I just really did a kick and a clap. So I did this little reverse hit just to throw people off and kind of swing over into the next section. Just a little change up and I did pan it to the left. Now when you go up over here, Bomb. so I'm having those reverse, I mean the reverse snares go into the snare, and then I just have some simple hats. little simple fill just a four hit then it goes back over same thing guys now just all the hats come over and then obviously I beefed up the drums and added more kicks where I could put them and it still sounded good so once I wrote the whole song this I chopped up the hats later after I wrote this so I started with just this of the drums and then you know put it around and made a skeleton of the song to the stems so the drums of the drums I just got a 4x4 four four ride which is just mine bounce that out you use a 4x4 four four ride so much I just made a loop and I use that not every song, but most of my songs. The drums, saturation, EQ, little stereo imaging, and just the preset drum full parallel. But obviously it's not parallel anymore. I pumped it all the way up. And the, where I had the drums for this one was... For the most part, the drums were pretty much down the pipe. So after I wrote the drums and lined up all their stems to how I want them, so I have a general structure now, that's when I started writing the drop because I was like, okay, 
I could finish this remix or I could scrap it. Let's see how the drop turns out and then I'll figure if I'm going to actually finish this remix or just consider it practice. And well, shout out uh, Crystallize, I believe. Yeah, so almost all of them are from the Crystallize pack with tweaks obviously and then I made I think these last two to uh yeah these are this is more of like a kind of like a really cool hit and stuff for with the main hook uh but let me play the basins for you So they are massive, something I haven't used in a long time. And then what I did was I would figure out the patch, write it, tweak it to fit, process it. And then I needed to fill in the lows because that one was like a really... So like look, if you take off trash... So all that metallic -y texture is coming from the trash. And that was actually the first song I've used trash on. And let's see. They did it to the sound that has nothing on it besides. So it's like a little hook over. Another synth. So trash on just a little bit to fill out the sound. And the reason I'm not going to show you these patches is because the main patch is still set up from their sample pack. So I don't want you guys to just take that, um, you know, go support Crystallize. All the presets, Massive and Serum are online for you guys. So if you want to use them, by all means, go get them. Uh, this one, I do believe, was also theirs, but the processing glitch, a little bit on the EQ, compress, mono, and then a little more EQ, pulling out anything harsh. Then this last one I could show you guys, because I built this up. Well, the first one I built up from scratch, but it was literally just trash, making the noise. So it was pointless to show you guys. Uh, but this one, because they both started off as the same sounds. Basically, almost, I think I switched a few things, but almost just the default patch and massive. Where all of the sound comes from and stuff. See, like everything is pretty much stock. It's what it is. Uh, where all the sound comes from, though, is because I really just wanted that gritty bass is the reverb and then you add those back on beautiful drone makes this main hook like without that this main hook would have no drive Representative, I'm a reputation. Can't mix up with a politician. Dogs them back on a hot station. No mix me name, no allegation. Free the deal, big and big. So simple stuff like that really drives the song. It's literally nothing crazy to make, nothing crazy to write, and uh, yeah, but it really drives the track. So not always the crazy stuff drive the track. It could be something fairly simple that is driving the track. So yeah, I wrote those to the stems and the drums I had. And then after that, I made the subs, which was 
the good old hip hop uh, sub bass. I love it. So pitch bending again. I showed you guys I think in the last one um, a track and I did the pitch bending stuff on the sub which really gives it more detail if you're going to use just a slap and bass just give it a little pitch bend here and there and keep it exciting for this one what did I use they're both so that one has sustain this one doesn't and this is the one that's layered up with that drone hit so stuff like that like th this hip hop sub bass is so diverse it's crazy like I want it a little more kicky now I just pull the sustain down and then make a new channel if I still want the original sound so stuff like that don't be afraid to make a couple channels of the same original sound but they're all tweaked just a little different it'll make writing much easier than just automating all this stuff every time you want to use it so now I have sub, drop synths, and drums. And this is what I had. Oh, and then I had there's their vocals. Yeah, so that, that's basically the song now. And the only thing that was left from there, because all the bleeps, the melody, uh, was to write this right here. And that is contact, pretty sure damage. Studio Armageddon assemble. Uh, Transit JPI pulled them down so they're nice and just boom. A good attack. It just hits you. The transient's punching and it's not all laid out because without this. It had a lot of reverb and stuff, which I liked. I just wanted to pull it tighter in because it gave good texture to the sound. I just didn't want it so long. And messing with it inside that or in contact, it wasn't giving me the same results as if I just pulled it down. So that's something to take in consideration. Use reverb and then pull the what is it? The sustain down. Make it shorter. Good stuff. You just need to really experiment with like different stuff. Normally I would not do that with contact plugins and normally I wouldn't do it after a reverb But in this case it works. So guys experiment you will find new stuff every day And you'll never have the answer because you always find more answers <clears throat> Everything after that is really just um, Vocals <clears throat> the only thing I added musical wise um, was the Cymatic Sprasset. Which I put some washout on, EQ to crazy, reverb, and sidechain compressed to the kick. But what was cool is when I layered the that bass synth with the reverb with this. And having on every other one made a really cool impact with that brass uh reverse vocal just chopped a little bit these are all impacts sweep overs again little swishes and stuff so yeah that is my remix guys there's really not much to it the master chain is ozone eq which i believe was a matching eq oh it was a matching eq guess i didn't use it uh imager 
which again I have learned a little bit with imaging so this would be a little different maybe put this at zero bring this up a little bit but yeah other than that mix gel this is an Ableton preset saturator sine fold 70% EQ, EQ, and EQ all the same. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is for. I, I do know that these are not brick walls, so maybe I was just doing that to eventually create a brick wall with enough EQs. But yeah, you really don't have to do that stuff. So that's my remix, guys. I hope you guys learned at least something from this inside look in this project. And I'm going to start doing a lot more. I have like four other tracks I could film so look forward to those in the next few weeks and I'm going to try to get some other artists to film these videos or in my side project maybe we'll cover a project or two of those so thanks for watching I'm a day don't forget to subscribe like and comment what you want to learn in the future peace